Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Tutorials where today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your own custom 1.17 snapshot server to play in the new snapshot with your friends. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I have a link down in the description to the download link for the server. So it, or you can just type this in server dot serverjars dot com. And so you just want to scroll down here and go to vanilla. And right here, um, you see snapshot. This is the one we're going to download. So don't click this download button. You want to go to more and then double click the download button. So snapshot 1.17 20w. It's just going to say this. I think I downloaded it twice, so I'm just going to delete this one. But right here, we have this. You want to keep the file, and it's going to do that so now we're just gonna do the rest of like the you know way you do it so you're gonna go out of here and go on so I have a designated folder for this so yeah but what you want to do is you just want to create a new folder and call it you know whatever I'm just gonna call it snapshot server boom and what you want to do is open your downloads folder, take this, copy, go into the snapshot uh, server, paste, take um, this into here. Now what you want to do is double click, and what it's going to do is um, actually bring up its files, it's going to bring, the, bring up the logs, it's going to bring up the EULA, and it's going to bring up server properties. So, we, as you can see, I already have logs, so here we go. So, it just did it. And so what we want to do first is go into the eula.txt, change this false right here to true, and file, save, close out. So now what we want to do is we want to, um, so now you can start it. So you can double click here and it'll actually start the server. But we want to port forward first. And so port forwarding is basically allowing, um, allowing your internet to allow other people to join the server. So let's do that. So you want to go uh, down here, and you want to type in cmd, and it's going to open command prompt. Now right here you want to type in ipconfig, enter. Now it's going to bring up a whole entire list of this, but we just want this right here, 192.168.1.1. That's my default gateway. Your default gateway could be completely the same or completely different. You just need to memorize this default gateway. Also, this IPv4 address, you need to memorize this as well. So, what you want to do is you just want to copy that right there, because I already have memorized mine, and I already have, like, an app for it. So, you just want to copy that, and you want to go into here, and you want to paste it right here. 192. See, it just popped up for me. But you just want to paste that in there, and that's mine. And it's going to bring up this login menu. Now, the login menu, the default username is admin, and the default password is password, and sometimes you don't know what it is, what your thing is, so you can just look up router um, login passwords, and it should bring up a list. Just look up, like, your type of router, because mine's a Netgear, so I'd look up Netgear router default password, and so yeah, but I've changed my password, so I'm more secure. So we're just going to sign in here, and as you can see, we, like, we want to look for port forwarding, and so... That's, you know, that's what we want to do. So, under, for me, it's under advanced, and then advanced setup. You could be under apps and gaming, it could be under, oh, um, just port forwarding itself. It could be under pretty much anything, but you just want to look around on this for port forwarding. And mine says port triggering, but we aren't going to worry about that, we just want port forwarding. And so, right here, this is my port forward, so I'm just going to delete this just to show you how, how to do it. So, once that deletes... So you just want to go add custom service or add port or whatever. And so it's going to bring up this and service name. I'm just going to name mine server. Now service type, you want uh, it to be TCP slash UDP or both. Just make sure it's TCP and UDP. And if you don't have that option, you can make one port forward with TCP and one port with UDP. So yeah. And then external starting port. Wherever you see port, just type in 25565. 25565. And as you can see right here, I have 25565 in these. And so right here, that IPv4 address right here is um, what we need now. So, um, 192.168.1.3. See, look, just put that in. And you also want to select your device so that 
See, mine's 192.168.1.3, so there's my device. Click that, and press apply. There you go. That's it. That's pretty much it. Easy as that. And like I said, if you don't have uh, TCP and UDP, you can just create one with TCP and one with UDP. Still works. So, now it's time to start up the server and join. I'll meet you guys back at the control panel. Alright guys, so we are right here at the control panel as you can see. And we're just going to start up the server. So, um, I'll meet you guys when it's done. And the way you start up the server is just double click, um, snapshot, uh, the server dot jar. Make sure the eula.txt has a uh, true in it. Um, but yeah, so... You just want to click uh, snapshot in, in server properties. This is just everything. So you can do enforce whitelist to like allow whitelist and stuff like that. Force game mode. I'm actually going to do this to. So, yep. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then change my game mode to creative file save. Go out of here. And yeah, I'll meet you guys when it's done. Alright guys, so as you can see, it is done, right here, done, tell you how long it takes, and then, yeah, but, basically, so the first time, uh, you, uh, you know, start your server up, it's gonna be very slow, because it needs to generate the world here, and so, um, yeah, now, it'll be way quicker now that we've loaded up the, the world, so yeah, now, it's time to join, let's go into Minecraft. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are in Minecraft here. Now hopefully it isn't too laggy for you. I know, like I've said before, my computer is um, a little laggy uh, when it comes to loading things. So when we load up into the world, please do not go down in the comments telling me that my... Oh, get that out of the way. Uh, telling me that my, you know, video is laggy. Sorry. But... Now you guys might be wondering, how do I get the IP to my server? How do I know what it is? Well, we're going to cover that right now. So, uh, you should have your server started up right here. As you can see, server starting up. And so what you want to do is you just want to type in, go into um, uh, Google and type in my IP. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show your IP right here. I have mine blurred out um, because, well... You can actually, um, uh, you can act, people can actually steal your information with that. But you have to go, in, um, you have to go into Google, and then just type in my IP, and it'll show your IP. So you just want to take that IP, and you just, uh, you just want to take that IP, create a new server, and put it in there. So let me do that really quick. Copy, paste, boom, it's in there. Done. And as you can see down here, Minecraft server, a Minecraft server, zero people online, and it's doing pretty good on MS. So right here, my game might be getting get a rip, uh, might get really laggy. So I'm just gonna do a quick jump cut to make sure it isn't laggy. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're inside of the Minecraft world here, and you can tell that um oh gosh lag. Here, let me just stay up here. But you can tell that um, I'm actually in the server. As you can see at the top, Minecraft 21W03A multiplayer third party server. Up in the top left there. So that just proves that I'm in the server. And to show you, um, if I go Glow Squid, boom! Glow Squid. Glow Squid. Yep, Glow Squid. Okay, that's a weird glitch, but whatever. Yep. There you go, guys. And so there you have it. That is how you create your custom snapshot server. And the IP that you just put in is the IP you'll give your friends, just so you know. Only give it to people that you trust. And if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like. If you guys really enjoyed, please do subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.